What's going on guys, my name's Theoatrix and welcome to the second episode of my Ultimate Iron Man series. For those that don't know, this is a one defense Ultimate Iron Man which I plan to PK with down the track, but for these preliminary episodes, I'm just going to be mainly getting the stats. I do some pretty stupid stuff in this video and it's pretty hilarious, so I hope you guys like it. Oh, Pyromancer are bottoms. I've almost completed the whole set now. Just the boots to go. What? Back to back and two mahogany seeds. That's like 30k. That's the whole Pyromancer set done in 136 kill count. I did do a lot of solo games, but I didn't get any pieces from the solos. So I'm pretty sure I got really lucky. So I've got 24 burnt pages inside my bag and another eight burnt pages outside. I'm praying I get a Tome of Fire because I can PK so well at such a low level with that. I changed my mind about 99 fire making. I'm only going for level 85 now because as you've probably noticed, I'm dropping literally 90% of what I get. So I think it's a lot better if I come back later on when I have some higher skills so I get some better loot and I can actually use the seeds that I get. Oh, what? More gloves? 10 raw tuna, that's actually a really good drop. That's 84 fire making, only one level to go. Oh, another mahogany seed. Another pyromancer garb. So I've only got like 10k XP to my next fire making level and I just thought of this idea where I hop worlds and light each brazier on each world. It actually worked for a little bit, but eventually it stopped me from hopping worlds and logged me out. But then I realized that this is really good for construction XP because I can go on a heap of worlds, light all the braziers, and then go back to those worlds in about a minute and see if the brazier is broken or if I just have to relight it. 85 fire making, that's it for the winter tod. I didn't get 42 construction, so I do need to repair a few more braziers. Level 42, so I can now make a costume room and a magic wardrobe, and that's actually gonna let me store my full pyromancer outfit as a banquet. I had 10 noted oak logs, so I quickly went and unnoted them, and I'm pretty sure the magic wardrobe takes oak planks, so we should be set. Love cashing in, Orvis, I'm there. Yeah, mine, always been. Costume room, 50k. Ooh. So I can build an oak wardrobe with four oak planks. What do I do? Like, use it on it? Oh, what? Okay, well, as it turns out, these are warm gloves, not pyromancer gloves. So these gloves only really act as warm clothing. They don't give you the XP boost that pyromancer does. So I don't exactly need these. I guess I'll just wear them for now. I'm gonna lose these chinchompers when I die. I stupidly put them into my looting bag, and since I have to die with the looting bag, they're just gonna run away when I die. Aww. This will be interesting. I wonder if I keep my untradeables on death. I know that ultimate Iron Man keep nothing on death. Well, that's at least what it says in the items kept on death interface, so. Oh, so I kept my Draymond stuff and the warm gloves. Holy cow, all right, I think that's pretty much everything I need. 32 burnt pages, no tome. I don't really know what I'm gonna do with them. I'll probably sell them to a general store or something. I just got a cow fight slayer task and the cow fight guardians, the really big ones, they drop mithril axes uncommonly. Well, this is good magic XP, but I'm gonna kill like five an hour at this rate. So just before I went to the magic arena in the wilderness with all my money and I bought some lore runes just for a bit of easier transport, I really wanna get the Arva's accumulator, which I'll hopefully get sometime soon. I think I'm gonna have to get 75% Hosidious favor because I can't start fairy tale part two without getting defense XP. So that means I can't use fairy rings to go to the tree spirits, which drop axes all the time. My inventory is looking a little full, so I might use up the herbs that I have left. Attack potions are actually really easy. You can get noted vials and noted eyes of newt from different stores, so I don't even need to go get those myself and run around everywhere. 
All right, that's all of them. Level 15 Herblore, not bad. I lost like half of my bank during that quest. I could not be bothered running back and forth like 10 times, so I ended up dropping quite a few of my items. All done though, now I almost have the requirements for animal magnetism. 63 hunter, so now I can catch red chins, which I'll be catching once I can wear them, which is like 55 range or something. And then once I do monkey madness, that'll be my range training method. I've only got 23 quest points on this account so far. I think it's time to do a couple more. Cheers, Fred. Ah, no worries, mate. So I finished off those quests just before, and I had some pure essence left over from the Winter Todd. I finished at 14 rune crafting, and I just finished doing some Googling, and I'm probably better off trading in my warm gloves for a crate and seeing what I get because they literally give no bonuses. Ugh. My inventory is looking a lot cleaner than before. I don't have many items right now, which is a really good time to go into the wilderness. And the reason why I want to go to the wilderness is I want to go test my luck at Lava Dragons and bury the bones on the Lava Isle because you get like five times XP when you bury a Lava Dragon bone there. I worked out I can use the last man standing coffer to store my money for free and there's a mini game teleport right there as well. So I put 10k into there, so that's back up if I die from the wilderness. I guess it's time to get some food and then head to the lava dragons. Uh, that should be enough tuna, so where am I off to? Ah, uh, the corporal beast. I think this is a really good time for me to go in the wilderness because the dead man tournament's on right now and also the servers are horrific. Doubt there's going to be that many PKs out there so hopefully I don't lose my bank. I safely made it here so I guess we'll see what loot we get. While I'm killing this dragon, I might as well explain something that I should have explained a little earlier. I was watching some guides the other day on minnows for fishing, and when you trade in minnows to get raw sharks, you actually get noted raw sharks. So that means I can have a stack of minnows in my inventory, and whenever I need food, I can just go get some noted sharks from the dock area and go back to PKing or training or whatever I'm doing. I do need the full angler's outfit to be able to catch minnows, but I can store that outfit in my house. So that's that's not a problem at all when I'm going to be PKing down the track. I need 82 fishing to catch them and I'll probably just do barbarian fishing till then, but I guess that's more of a long term kind of goal. First dragon is Law Runes. Okay, I'll take it. 340 XP for burying bones. Jeez. Dragon number two. I don't know if I need the black dragon hide or the scales, but I guess I'll take them for now and see if I can sell them anywhere. Onyx bowl tips. Hope I can sell these somewhere for a bit of money. I don't know though. I looked them up and their high alk value is pretty low, so... And we get rune knives. Okay, that should actually be worth something. Uh, oh, nah, I'm out of here. All right, let's pause it here real quick. This is mistake number one. Some dude came along within about four dragon kills, which is nothing, and I didn't learn anything from it. I probably should have banked at this point. Mistake number two, another white dot, which I safely got away from, but I still did not learn my lesson. Oh, Addy bars again. Rune kite. Okay, I'm getting out of here. That'll easily sell for like 20k. I finally decided I should go cash in on my items and ended up with about a 27k stack after selling everything. Dragon hide and the lava dragon scales have horrible alk values, so I got like nothing from those. But I was not done here. So 
So that's mistake number three. This dude almost specked me out, but I still decided to go back to killing lava dragons. A rune axe, a really important item for me, that speeds up not only woodcutting, but construction as well. 